Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, what we're gonna do is we are gonna be talking about the brand new Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Edge. Now, this over here is Samsung's brand new laptop. It is running the Snapdragon X Elite processor, and you can see it comes in this box right here. When you open up the box, you get the cable, the USB Type C cable, and the charger. For the laptop so that's all you get in the box so let's go ahead and talk about the actual laptop again this is a snapdragon x elite laptop now you can get these in a couple of different configurations there is a 14 inch model and there's a 16 inch model this one right here is the top end 16 inch model with the most powerful snapdragon x elite processor it also has 16 gigabytes of ram and one terabytes of storage. Now, if you do go for the 14 inch model, you're gonna get slightly slower Snapdragon X Elite processor and 512 gigabytes of storage. Links to both the 14 inch model and the 16 inch model are gonna be down below. You can check the specs, the details, and you can buy them if you want using the links down below. All right, so these Snapdragon X Elite laptops are basically designed for portable power on the go with long battery life and powerful AI capabilities. We are gonna look at some details, but first let's dive in and look at the keyboard, look at the pores, look at the display, and let's go over everything one by one. Of course, we're gonna be talking about Microsoft Copilot, the AI capabilities, the Samsung ecosystem, and more. And I do wanna let you guys know really quickly that the build quality on this laptop is definitely amazing. It is precision machine. Everything feels rock solid. The texture is super smooth. It's super thin, lightweight, and very good looking laptop. All right, so with the ports on the left side, what we have is we have an HDMI 2.1 port, and then we have two USB-C 4.0 ports. These, of course, can be used for charging as well. And then over here, we have a little LED light. Basically, when the laptop is on or charging, that LED light is gonna be the indicator light. On the right side, we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. We have a standard USB port. And then we have a micro SD expansion slot. This is gonna be for adding additional storage. This is not a card reader. It's to add storage using micro SD. Now, one more thing that we have is we have a built-in fingerprint sensor in the power button. So take a look at this. I'm gonna tap on space key. That's gonna turn on the screen. It's locked in right now. But if I put my finger right here, it just logs me in right away. So we have a built-in fingerprint sensor. Now you can see we have a massive trackpad. This is a high quality trackpad. And you can see the mouse over there, very precise. And I can press on it and get nice feedback. So I know exactly what I'm doing. It is a smooth sliding and precise trackpad. Now with the keyboard, if you look over here, we have a full numeric keypad, which is what I like personally. I'm a numbers guy. I like my keypad for easy number input. Now here's one more look at the layout of the actual keyboard. Okay, and if I press on these keys, high quality keys with nice feedback. Keyboard feel quality is sometimes user dependent. So I do encourage you guys to go out there and actually check it in store if you can to decide on the keyboard feel but this is high quality. We do have backlighting. So here you can see the backlights, very nice and clear when the lights are out. Now these new Snapdragon X Elite laptops are specifically designed for AI. They have special processing power just for AI. And of course we get a dedicated button for the AI. So when I click on this, it launches the Microsoft Copilot and I get the full capabilities right over here. So if you have used ChatGPT, this is basically the same thing right here, built into your computer, and it's gonna be super fast and responsive. Now, because this is a Samsung laptop, when you tap on FN and tap on F1, it will bring up Samsung specific settings. So for example, if I go to sound right here, and if I click on it, you can see I have Dolby Atmos that I can enable, I've got my notifications. I've got unique display properties. Let me X this out. Here are some unique display properties. Again, these are all Samsung related. And if you have a Samsung phone, 
they are going to look very familiar. All right, we're going to talk about the display in a second, but you do have this FN key and you can access all the functions on these F1 to F12 keys. So great massive trackpad for easy manipulation and a great keyboard. All right, so let's quickly talk about the display. Now, first thing I'm going to quickly show you guys is it does have the anti-reflective coating. So this light right over here, that's a studio light and essentially very bright. But you can see because of the anti-reflective coating, you can barely see the intensity of its brightness. In fact, here's that light, okay? This is a very bright light. And if I look over here, you can barely see the intensity. Of course, you'll see it, but the anti-reflective coating is so strong that it dramatically reduces the glare from these lights. Or if you're outdoor in the sunlight, you're going to be able to see this laptop much better than many other products. It is gonna be a 3K display, and it's also a touch screen display. And you can see the resolution is 2880 by 1800, and you also have 120 hertz display refresh rate. And the best thing is, you are able to actually activate HDR. So if you have any HDR content you want to watch on this, that is also possible. So it's an HDR supporting display. There is no question that this is a very high quality display for watching movies, looking at images, working with images, or any other kind of video consumption, and even some gaming. Now with the display, you are also able to go into Samsung specific display settings that come up right here. Now if I do go to display, you can see I've got the option to pick from different modes, like vivid, natural, photo editing, movie watching, whatever you need. And then I can change it to cooler or warmer display. And then I have the ability to even turn on HDR plus and additional details are available in this display menu that is just for Samsung side of the things. All right, so let's take a look at the speakers. Now, first and foremost, if I go to my settings, Samsung settings, you're gonna see that under sound, we do have the Dolby Atmos enabled. So that's going to give you richer sound. So that's going to be enabled. And now I'm going to go out here and I'm going to play a track. So I'm pointing towards the speakers. They're on the sides right over here and over here. Okay, so let's play this up and you can see the quality. They are loud. They are high quality. Okay, those were a couple samples. Now I will tell you guys, if you have experienced the MacBook speakers, the MacBook speakers for the pro models, the higher end models are actually better. So if those are at 100%, I would give this a score of 85 to 90. They're still very good speakers, just not at the level of a MacBook Pro speaker setup. All right, so these laptops with the Snapdragon X Elite processors are specifically designed for AI. So what we have on this laptop is we have the dedicated AI key, which is right over here. So when you click this, it brings up Microsoft Copilot, which is no joke. It is a powerful AI companion. You can basically ask it anything and it'll get you answers far superior compared to a Google search result. So let's say I want to do something creative. I would launch Copilot with the button or I can just launch the app, but you can see right over here, I have a text. So I want to create an image of the description of what I just typed. So let's see what it does for us. Okay. Tap on submit and then it's going to start the process and let's see what kind of results we get with this AI. It's saying, I'll try to create that. Okay. And it's doing its magic. It is powered by doll E3 as you can see. So let's see what happens. There we go. I mean, that is incredible. I said, a powerful warrior on a distant planet with a glowing aura around him. And it gave me four examples. I can tap on these guys and I can inspect them individually, download them, 
do whatever I want. But again, if you have used ChatGPT, just think everything you can do there, you can do here as well. So that's one thing. I'm going to show you another thing that's pretty amazing. All right, so right over here, what I'm using is I'm using the link to Windows feature on my Samsung phone. So the phone is being projected to the larger display of the laptop. And if I use any Samsung AI features here, I'm able to benefit from a larger display. I can have the phone sitting down and I can be working on my PC. But that's not what I want to talk about. That is already an existing feature. Projecting your phone to your computer is an existing feature. What I do want to show you guys is if I go into Microsoft Copilot, take a look at this. I go over here and I create a new conversation. Okay. And then at the bottom, I go to plugins. Okay. And I enabled the phone plugin right here. It's enabled right now. Now I can talk to Microsoft Copilot and I can ask it to do things on my phone like texting people or getting phone numbers. And look at what I'm going to ask it. I'm going to ask Copilot to get me a phone number from the actual smartphone. So look at this. What is Samuel's phone number? So it says using phone and it's going to get me the number. Samuel's phone number is 000 000 000 000. 000. If you need to reach out, feel free to give him a call. Okay, you can see that's a number I've saved here for just for testing and it just pulled it up no problem. And I can also come in here and say send a text message to Samuel and tell him let's meet up tonight for dinner. Certainly. You can interact with the dialog box to confirm that you want to send the message. Okay, so I can say yes, I proceed or no thanks. Okay, so you can see Copilot can actually interact directly with my phone uh, with using natural language to fetch numbers, send text messages. So that's great. Now, one more thing I want to talk about is the Samsung ecosystem. So here I have a Samsung Galaxy tablet. That's the Tab S9 Ultra. Then we have the laptop. So I can do things very easily such as this. I can project this display to that display or extend this display to that display. So I can have twin displays, no problem, using the second screen application. I'm going to click right here and look at what happens. It's going to connect over there. I'm going to say allow connection. And within a few seconds, I'm going to have a dual display. So right now, we have a duplicate display, but I can come over here, I can click over here, and I can say extend, and now I'm going to be able to extend this display over there, so I'm going to have a larger workspace. So now I can take this guy, okay, and I can just put it right over here, no problem. And of course I can transfer files back and forth between these guys, or even a Samsung phone with no problems using Quick Share. So certainly there are Samsung ecosystem benefits. Everything works together very well. Now this laptop is primarily designed for the creative professional. It does have really great CPU performance. In fact, it has higher scores than the Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Ultra with the Intel 9 Ultra processor. You can see the results on the screen. So if you're buying this for work, for using Microsoft Office, like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, if you wanna use Photoshop, if you wanna use Lightroom, if you wanna use Copilot for productivity, this is gonna be a great laptop. The key is that you are gonna be able to get the full power out of the laptop even when you are on battery, which is one of the highlights of these laptops. So you will get great CPU performance even on battery power. But I do want to specifically tell you guys that this is not a laptop for gaming. Let's quickly talk about that and get that out of the way. If you're looking for a laptop for gaming, this is not going to be the one. There's a couple reasons for that. One of the reasons is because it simply doesn't have dedicated graphics card. And if you want to play any game at high settings with a high frame rate, you need that dedicated graphics card. This doesn't have it. Number two, games are based on the x86 architecture. This laptop is running on ARM architecture. So there's some conversion happening and during the conversion from the x86 to ARM, you're also losing performance. So you might be able to play some games with low settings, low resolution at an acceptable frame rate. But the moment you crank up the resolution, 
with higher graphic settings, you're just gonna get stutters and low performance. So again, if you want a gaming laptop, you need to get one with a dedicated graphics card and these don't have those. And right now that's for all Snapdragon X Elite laptops. Now the battery life on these laptops is supposed to be very good. Samsung says you can get 20 plus hours of video watch time, but there are some nuances. Obviously that's not gonna work if you have maximum brightness and maximum speaker volume. So with medium brightness, medium volume, you can probably easily watch 10 plus hours of video. When it comes to mixed use, some work, some video watching, browsing, again, you are gonna be able to get 10 plus hours, no problem. I have had this laptop for the last four hours, full brightness, just turn on like this, doing random things, and it went from 80% to 36%, and even now, based on my use, it says I have one hour and 42 minutes left over. But again, that is full brightness, never turns off or goes to sleep, and I've been coming here and just doing random things like running benchmarks, playing games, and stuff like that. And you can see I have it set on best performance, so it's using maximum battery at all times. So if I tone down my settings, I can easily see this going 10 plus hours and even 15 hours if I'm doing light duty stuff. These are my assumptions based on what I've seen so far. Now when it comes to charging, you are able to charge this laptop from zero to 40% with the included adapter in 30 minutes. So you do get fast charging. All right guys, so looks like we have talked about everything. So this laptop has great build quality. When you touch it, when you hold it, feels like a million dollars. It's got great performance, great battery life, and all the ports you need from a laptop. But this is not going to be a gaming laptop. Do not buy this for gaming. If you're a student, if you are a professional, a creative professional, and if you want something that's portable, thin, and lightweight, this is a great laptop to go with. Of course, you've got the latest AI capabilities, and of course, you have the Samsung ecosystem benefits. Stay, stay tuned for more videos about this laptop, but if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below, let me know. All right guys, have a fantastic day.